Hey everyone, today we're going to talk first about the theory of reasoned action and then about the theory of planned behavior. So stick around to learn about both theories. The theory of reasoned action. It's important to mention right from the beginning that this theory operates on the assumption that people behave in a sensible and rational manner and make use of all the information that is available to them. It was originally designed to predict voting behavior, which is a single instance activity, and it suggests that there are three principal constructs which influence our behavior. I think it's easiest to understand this theory starting at the end and working backward. So, the endpoint of this theory is a person's overt behavior, what you actually do. In the case of voting, it would be whether or not you vote. Now, what determines our behavior? The most important determining factor to whether or not we will conduct a behavior is our intention. The greater our intention to perform a behavior means the greater likelihood of actually performing the behavior. Our intentions are influenced by two factors, our attitude toward the behavior and our sense of subjective norm. Our attitude refers to a person's positive or negative thoughts concerning the performance of a behavior. Two factors influence our attitude. One, our beliefs about the consequences of carrying out a specific action. In terms of voting, do we generally believe that voting is a worthy undertaking? And two, our evaluation of those consequences. Are they positive or negative? So, do you feel that your vote is important? Do you care who's running or who wins? If the answer to these questions are yes, you will likely have a favorable attitude toward voting. The other determinant of intention is one's subjective norm. This refers to how much social pressure you feel to perform a behavior, also predicated on two factors. One, our perception about the expectations of significant others. So what do our family and friends think of this behavior? Will they be voting? And two, our motivation to comply with these perceived expectations. So, will you be perceived as lazy and uninformed if you don't go and vote? Do you even care what others think in regard to your voting behavior? If you believe people expect you to vote and you are motivated to comply, you will have a greater intention to vote. As I mentioned earlier, this theory was designed for voting, a single instance activity. Therefore, the theory was criticized as intention isn't an ideal construct for predicting behaviors that are continuing or repeatable, because these behaviors can pose significant challenges and barriers. So, about 10 years later, these researchers extended the theory to the theory of planned behavior, which is just an elaboration on the theory of reasoned action, with the addition of perceived behavioral control. This refers to the degree of personal control that you perceive you have over the behavior in question. In other words, how well you believe you can perform the behavior. In an example of exercise, if you feel you have control over or the ability to overcome potential barriers to exercise, you'll be more likely to exercise than if you believe exercise is influenced by someone or something else. Let's take a more specific example. A doctor wants you to exercise more, so says, try jogging. The patient says that they can't because of a knee ache that they often experience. So the doctor responds with, Try a brisk walk or swimming as these tasks are much easier on the knees. This way, you or the patient believes that you have control over the behavior and that you can do it. Finally, while attitude and subjective norm influence behavior only through their impact on intention, perceived behavioral control influence behavior both independently 
and through the effects of intention. And therefore, in the theory of planned behavior, intention and perceived behavioral control are equally influential predictors of behavior. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you were able to learn something about these two theories, and I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.